over. I want to win. I want to win. Follow my lead. Let's go. I'll time on three. One, two, three. I'll time. I'll time. SEC on CBS brings us to the 121st meeting of the Deep South's oldest rivalry. From Jordan-Hare Stadium in Auburn, the 10th ranked Tigers against the number one team in the country, the Georgia Bulldogs. Welcome everybody, Brad Nestler, Gary Danielson, Ali LaForce. Now the college football standings came out again on Tuesday. Georgia stayed in the number one spot, Alabama number two, but Auburn has moved to number 10. And with that, Gary, it makes this one that much more important. As the great philosopher Aaron Rodgers said, relax. <laughs> A lot of football to be played. Toss and deferred. Daniel Carlson will kick it away to Miko Hardman and Elijah Holyfield. From the Plains, we're underway. Hardman at the goal line. Miko got a little crease, tripped himself up, but he got out to the 30 yard line. On the first snap of the game. And it's Nick Chubb for a yard, and that's it. And a fired up Auburn defense. Play action from plenty of time. Complete on the fly. Terry Godwin has got it inside the 15. From goes out and it's Nick Chubb direct snap and touchdown Georgia. See how George Stidham does. Just gonna flip this on a little jet sweep and it's not going anywhere. Gonna lose a yard. Eli Stove. On second down, he's going to roll the throw, fires a rocket, complete. First down, Auburn. Craig Myers on the receiver again. And it's a wildcat. The carry on Johnson patiently waits and now cuts to the right side and gets the sideline into Georgia territory with a stiff arm and a first down at the 41. Exactly like that. Wow, 54 yarder here. His career long is 56. He's hit a 54 this year as well. He is a weapon. Got it. Daniel Carlson, the all-time leading scorer in the SEC, drills another one. Michelle, nothing doing. Andrew Williams, second time this series. The tackle has made a stop. Godwin in motion. Frog getting some pressure. Down he goes. And it's Jeff Holland, ninth sack of the year. Hoping he is healthy and can play the whole game today. First down at the 32. Play action. Stidham getting some heat again. Got away. Showing good legs and almost got a first down. Carlson hit his first one from 54. This is 37 yards. We try to make it a one-point game. And it's up. And it's good. So a minute 20 remaining in the first quarter. It was a sack. Third and medium, though. 
The quarterback is a threat as a runner in this situation. Not at a tight end in motion. From flips it, intended for him, and it's broken up. That's pretty good at that. You weren't an astronaut, but mathematician. <laughs> That's close. Here's a quick throw out to Stove, and Stove's got a crease. Georgia still hasn't gotten him down. All the way out to the 29-yard line. They keep you honest in the passing game. And here comes Carryon Johnson. There goes Carryon Johnson. First down off. To the right, two to the left, and an empty backfield for Stidham. Throws right on the money. Wide open, Chandler Cox, a fullback. Carlson hit from 54 and 37. This one should be easy for him from 30 to try to get Auburn in the lead. And it is easy for him. Auburn takes the lead for the first time in the first half. And he's not going to get it either. Great stop by the Auburn defense led by Trey Matthews. Field, so they get what first and nine here. Yep. And a quick swing pass out to carry on Johnson in the open field. He's got a first down. Get it Puff fakes one way. Wants it all down the middle. Man there. Got it. Touchdown. Slayton.
Here's a big punt return for Auburn. Ryan Davis.
I thought they might be effective stopping the run, but not like this. Wins short of the first down. Team that's averaging 280 yards rushing a game is under 50. Number one in the conference and eighth in the nation. Holyfield, looks like he might have gotten it. Trey Williams said he didn't. What's that? If the yellow line is correct, I don't think he did. We gave up one on the opening drive. We're not going to give up another one. From, but they did. Touchdown, <laughs> Georgia. <laughs> Riley Ridley. I know Notre Dame fans are upset that they're not in automatically, but believe me, they're not. Malik Willis in, the backup quarterback, going to run it and get buried. Now to a minute 35, Cam Martin finally in there. Willis going to throw. Oh, oh man, goodness. you on. talk about a uh, memory that oh, Kirby Smart goodness. will forget here. All of them are in. Marquise McClain, number 17, it is in, in. And this is just part of the play call. But, you know, I think Gus looked it. Call it. Chipped it. <laughs> and they run it up the middle. And that will end the game. The 121st edition of the Deep South's oldest rivalry. And it was all Auburn today. And there's the handshake. What a big win for Auburn as they go to 8-2. And, and Georgia falls from the ranks of the NBA. Congratulations. You didn't just beat the number one team in the country. You dominated the number one team in the country. How proud are you of this team? I'm, I'm real proud. I'm proud of our fans. It was a great atmosphere. Got off the slow start. Had to take a couple field goals there. In the second half, we imposed our will on them. I'm very happy with our team. We're playing really good football right now. Everybody talks about Georgia's defense. How about your defense? Yeah, defense won the best in the country. What did we hold them to? 46 yards. And, and some of that was in the fourth quarter. So uh, happy with our defense. We rushed for 237. Couldn't be happier. Congratulations, Coach. Thank you.